Typhoon Haiyan, local name Yolanda, hit the Visayas regions of the Philippines with until now unseen ferocity on November 8. The coastal city of Tacloban poured the full force of the storm with high winds, a storm surge, flooding, and a tidal wave sweeping whole communities away. Tacloban still bears the massive scars of the typhoon, but the resilience of its citizens has put them on the road to recovery. As well as commercial activity, Taclobana started rebuilding, first with salvage materials and later with aid provided by IOM, the government, and other agencies. Many people lost all their possessions during the storm. Here, in one of Tacloban's poorest areas, IOM distributed blankets, jerry cans, and solar lamps. The centerpiece of IOM's recovery program in the storm-damaged area is to improve people's living conditions. Over 50,000 shelter kits are being distributed all over the affected area. This consists of corrugated iron sheets, bamboo poles, fixing material, and toolkits to allow people to repair their damaged homes. This stabilizes communities, eases the pressure on displacement sites, and prevents secondary displacement. Francis Gaspian is a 33-year-old father of six, whose home was heavily damaged during the typhoon. <laughs> In Giwan, Eastern Samar, IOM is running a tent camp for people who have lost their homes and haven't got the opportunity to rebuild. Their homes may have been washed away or they seem they have no means and have not yet received aid. This tent city is being composed of two barangays, Barangay 6 and Barangay Hollywood City. So these two barangays actually are situated in the coastal area of, of Giwan, which happens also to be the most devastated part of the Giwan. That is why they are here now, kasi wala na silang talagang mapupuntahan. So, um, talagang nawalan sila, nawasak yung mga bahay nila, and eventually the government now, ayaw na nilang pabalikin doon sila. Um, yung primary advocacy namin talaga ay ensure na yung mga tao dito ay uh, um, makapamuhay ng makatao pa rin, just like before, no? Barangay 6 in Giwan was devastated in the typhoon. Here too, people are trying to get on with their lives, getting back to fishing and rebuilding even in unsafe and prohibited areas. Gusto gud ako mabalhin ato ka may dapit hit may kampo yung kunta ako magbalay para yo dun dagat kay mga anak ko labi kay ako nagdalawd ako nagdadagat sempre wa rin nagmamangutak mga anak mabugto ko la
talagang yun ang plano namin. Kaya nga hindi na namin inalasan yung bahay namin kahit na wala kami nasisilungan. Magawa kami ng paraan para matulugan. Ay, kasi hindi ito nga hanap buhay namin eh. Mm, yan ang pinakaminamin na ano, nahanap buhay itong dagat. Wala kami ibang pinagkukunan. Ang amon mga pakabuhayan nga hadagat, waray na ubos. Ang mga panapton nga tanan, was out. Waray na, kaya di man kami tabing dagat na ukoy. Waray na, doon din na kami makakapag-usok ang balay. Amon kung tama ka, kung kami bislaguti ay nga maamon papakabuhayan, kaya dagat man talaga kami nabubuhuhi. Itak, itak asawad, mahadagat talaga na, na bubuhi kami. Nahadlok akong duro. Basta siya na't ako nakukuha pag nauran, nga na mag, nagmamadlos, nahadlok na ako yung duro. Hindi rin ako natutuhay at pagpakabuhi. Maruhin, nasasamok let ako ng ulo. Nagkakaproblema ako. Hindi rin pag mamaaram, kung pera kaya bulan, pera kaya years, na makakarecover kami. Typhoon Haiyan left 4 million people homeless, over 6,000 dead, and a nation in mourning. Now, with some external help, but led by the people themselves, the recovery is underway. For the Filipinos, a new year brings new hope.